The United States has one of the most advanced air defense systems in the world, including systems such as Patriot, Thad, Aegis, and laser air defense systems that are part of the U.S. national security strategy. These systems are used to protect against ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and other aerial threats. They are also constantly being upgraded and improved to ensure higher effectiveness in various combat conditions. Laser beams are used to destroy targets such as ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and unmanned aerial vehicles. Laser air defense systems are typically divided into two types, chemical and electrical. Chemical lasers use chemical reactions to generate a laser beam, while electrical lasers use electrons to generate a laser beam. Both types have their advantages and disadvantages, and the choice of a particular type depends on the objectives and operating conditions. One of the advantages of laser air defense systems is their precision and high reload speed. They can destroy a target within fractions of a second, making them particularly effective against fast-moving threats such as ballistic missiles. The effective range of a laser beam depends on many factors, such as the power of the laser, the diameter of the beam, the transparency of the atmosphere, and the properties and composition of the target's surface. For laser air defense systems used to protect against unmanned aerial vehicles, cruise missiles, or drones, the effective range is typically several kilometers. However, for laser systems designed to counter larger objects such as missiles or aircraft, the effective range may be significantly less due to the higher air density at greater altitudes, leading to greater energy loss of the laser beam. In general, the effective range of a laser beam can be quite limited, especially when dealing with fast-flying or maneuvering objects. Additionally, lasers may be less effective in poor visibility or weather conditions. Moreover, they also require a large amount of energy, making them more expensive compared to other air defense systems. The Patriot Air Defense System, Patriot Advanced Capability Pack, was developed by the American company Raytheon and is one of the most well-known air defense systems in the world. It was initially created to protect against medium-range ballistic missiles, but it currently has a broader application and can defend against various threats, including cruise missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles. The Patriot system consists of several components, including radars for target detection and fire control, missile launchers, control systems, and communications. Each component is modular, allowing the system to be tailored for specific tasks and combat conditions. The Patriot system has been involved in many conflicts, including the Gulf War in 1991, the Iraq War in 2003, and recent military conflicts in Syria and Yemen. It is also exported to other countries, including Japan, South Korea, Kuwait, Israel, and Saudi Arabia. The Patriot system continues to be upgraded and improved to provide more effective protection against new and evolving threats. The THAAD system, Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, is another air defense system developed by Lockheed Martin to protect against short and medium-range ballistic missiles, both ground and sea-based. It can also protect against other aerial threats such as cruise missiles. The THAAD system consists of a radar for target detection and tracking, a fire control system, and ground-based missile launchers. Additionally, THAAD has mobility capabilities, making it more flexible in various combat scenarios. THAAD has been involved in several conflicts, including the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. The THAAD system is also exported to other countries, including South Korea and Saudi Arabia. The THAAD system continues to evolve to cope with constantly changing threats and is considered one of the most modern and effective air defense systems in the world. The Aegis system is a combination of air and missile defense systems developed by the American corporation Lockheed Martin and used on ships and coastal stations to protect against various air and sea threats, including ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, unmanned drones, and other objects. The Aegis system uses integrated networks of radars, sensors, and other systems that provide its ability to detect and track targets at long distances and in various conditions. In addition, the Aegis system uses SM-3, Standard Missile 3, guided missiles, which can intercept and destroy ballistic targets in flight. The Aegis system has been involved in several conflicts, including the Gulf War and operations in Afghanistan and Iraq. It is also exported to other countries, including Japan, South Korea, Norway, and Australia. 
The Aegis system is constantly being upgraded and improved to ensure higher efficiency and to cope with ever-changing air and sea threats. There are several analogs of the Aegis system developed by other countries. Some of these include the SAMP-T system, Sol Air Moyenne Porte Terrestre, is an air and missile defense system developed by MBDA and Thales in France. It is designed to protect against ballistic missiles and cruise missiles and uses Aster-guided missiles. The HQ-9 system is a Chinese air and missile defense system developed by CPMIEC. It is also designed to protect against ballistic missiles and cruise missiles and uses medium-range guided missiles. The S-400 Triumph is a Russian air defense system developed by Almaz Ante. It can also protect against ballistic missiles and cruise missiles, uses various types of guided missiles, and has a longer target engagement range. The Iron Dome system is an Israeli missile defense system developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. It is designed to protect against short-range rocket attacks and uses Tamir guided missiles. Overall, all these systems have their unique features and advantages, and the choice of one system over another depends on specific needs. U.S. air defense systems such as Patriot, THAAD, and Aegis have a high level of technological development and are capable of detecting and intercepting various types of threats, including ballistic missiles, but they do not guarantee 100% protection against all possible threats. Moreover, it should be taken into account that threats may arise not only from Chinese missiles, but also from other sources, such as missiles from other countries or terrorist organizations. In any case, the effectiveness of air defense systems depends on many factors, and it is necessary to consider various scenarios of potential threats and take appropriate measures to prevent them. One potentially vulnerable area may be a weak spot in the electronic control system responsible for detecting threats and launching missiles for interception. There may also be a vulnerability in the communication system between the various components of the air defense system, which can lead to delays in information transmission and insufficient response to threats. In addition, air defense systems may have limited capabilities to intercept targets simultaneously, which can become a vulnerability in case of massive attacks when the number of targets exceeds the system's capabilities. It is also worth noting that air defense systems may have limitations in operation under adverse weather conditions, such as heavy rain, fog, or clouds, which can also create vulnerabilities in the system. Overall, to ensure maximum protection, air defense systems should be designed considering all possible vulnerabilities and should undergo regular inspection and modernization to maintain high efficiency in various scenarios. Another factor that may affect the effectiveness of American air defense is insufficient coordination between different systems and agencies responsible for air defense, which can lead to duplication of efforts, malfunctions, and suboptimal use of resources. Finally, an important aspect of ensuring air defense efficiency is the training and preparation of personnel, including operators and technical staff. A lack of qualified and experienced specialists may limit the capabilities of American air defense in addressing complex tasks and threats. Like and leave comments. Thank you for watching and see you soon.